Alright, we're back. Alright, let's follow that guy further. Just a little further to go now. Let's not mess up. Ah, shit. Ah, uh, he saw me. Sorry for the audio issues. Capture card has been a dick today. All right, now he's changing. Let's go. Right. What are we waiting for? Legendary soldier. Call me Mama. Big. It might only be happening, uh, random parts of my video. I need to talk to you. Right, Miss Emmy. Right. My, how you've grown. David, it was you, not I, who was created from the rib of man. But I gave you life. I am your mother. What? Les enfants terribles. You can't grow a human being in a test tube, not even a clone. 
You need a woman's body to give it life. You mean... a surrogate mother? That's an awfully cold way to put it. I am your mother. I gave birth... for the Patriots. Forbidden fruit. Appropriate. No? Follow me. I'll explain everything. The man who wants me dead is Liquid, your twin. You think you know him, but I know him better. He was once Ocelot, but Liquid has taken control of his soul. And now he's locked in a bitter struggle with Zero. Zero? The founder of the Patriots. Dear founder. When did this happen? Forty years ago. During the Cold War, when the United States and the Soviet Union were still at arms. Oh, dear. That the Patriots were banned. Skang ugly. And I played my part. I was one of the founding members. You. Zero created the Patriots to manage and control the American state. That control endured long after the Cold War ended. The organization became an addition, continuing to function through AIs. Those AIs are responsible for the creation of the war economy, and they gave rise to the Sons of the Patriot system. But I am partly to blame. I bear some of the guilt for creating the organization. It was right after I first met your father. Big boss. Big boss. Back in 1964, I was ordered to take part in a CIA op called Operation Snake Eater, which concerned a new weapon the Soviets were developing at the time. My mission was to support a certain agent. That agent later became Big Boss, but I knew him as Snake. Snake? Yes, Naked Snake. That was his code name at the time, a name he would give to you, his son. The commander of this mission was a man called Zero, the head of Special Forces Unit Fox. Back then, I was working as a double agent for the Chinese. My objective was to secure the location of the Philosopher's Legacy, a massive cache of hidden wealth, and report it to Beijing. I was to acquire a microfilm showing the location of secret funds. Hold on. Funds amassed by the Allied powers during the World War II. But I failed in my mission and was expelled from China. I took the apple from the snake and was cast out. Of it. After years on the run, I ended up in Hanoi. That's where I met him again. It was around then that Zero used the massive funds contained in Philosopher's Legacy to start a new organization, the Patriots, which would carry out the final wishes of a certain legendary hero. The initial membership consisted of Big Boss, Sigan, Paramedic, and their commander, Zero. Oh, and there was one more who we mustn't forget. He stayed behind in the Soviet Union to support the group as an informant. Awesome. He is now liquid. After your father rescued me in Hanoi, I went to America and joined their organization. Zero's goal was to achieve a unity of thought and awareness. He believed that was what the boss wanted, and the rest of the Patriots followed his lead. The boss? The boss was a legendary hero from the Second World War, known as the Mother of Special Forces. 
She had an almost overwhelming charisma of the CIA. The CIA feared this, so they had her eliminated. If she had survived, the world of the 21st century might have been a very different place. We were all influenced by the boss's will. It was what drove us to create this organization, to be closer to that spirit. Zero decided that in order to lead the people, we needed a special kind of icon. So we turned to Big Boss, the last son of the boss. He shared more of her life than anyone else. It was Big Boss, the true heir to her legacy, who was best suited to play this role. Don't know how I got all these glitches. Zero elevated Big Boss, the hero who saved the world, to the status of an idol. The truth behind Big Boss became riddled with exaggeration, misrepresentation, and outright lies. Zero disseminated these stories among the masses and gathered the rich and powerful to his banner. Every era needs its symbols to control the people, whether it be the stars and stripes, or the hammer and sickle. As the times and currents of politics changed, so too did Zero. Eventually, he became a prisoner of his own lust for power, sparking friction between him and Big Boss, who resented playing the part. With Big Boss drifting away, Zero realized he would need insurance. Something that would perpetuate the existence of Big Boss, the organization's happiness. And so Zero secretly embarked on a new project. Les Enfants Terrain. Its goal was to create a clone of Big Boss. The ultimate soldier. The project was led by Dr. Croft, known at the time as Paramedic. After dozens of failures, they finally miraculously succeeded in producing a fertilized egg. The egg used in the successful in vitro fertilization came from Dr. Clark's assistant, a healthy Japanese woman. Blood from the east flows within your veins. Give birth to Big Boss. Hold on. To realize this, I asked to serve as the surrogate mother, and was more than happy to carry him in my womb. I loved him. Nine months later, I gave birth to two big bosses, you and the boy. It didn't matter that you were clones, or that they had manipulated your DNA. You were born the same way as any other normal child from your mother's womb. But Les Enfants Terrible proved to be the final straw for Zero and Big Boss. Determined to oppose Zero and his plans, Big Boss broke away from the Patriots. He left the streets, created his own mercenary company, and drifted around the world. I gotta stop the video here.